Hi there, Marcella and Nikki here. Today we want to share with you guys how to make your own homemade butter. It's actually quite easy. All you need is one ingredient, just some heavy whipping cream, heavy cream is pretty much the same thing. A food processor, kind of like the one I have over here, or a blender will work. Now if you want to make this more fun and do it as a family, uh, like a science experiment, you can churn butter or make butter in a jar. So you'll just pour a little bit of the heavy cream, maybe a part of the way, and you guys can take turns shaking it vigorously for about four minutes, and at the end you'll get butter. You'll see, it's a really neat experiment. I actually uploaded the video on our playlist so you can look up how to make butter in a jar and you'll be able to see how it works. We're gonna go ahead and pour the heavy cream into our food processor and we're going to churn the butter. Oh, one more thing. Now, how this works is when you're shaking the heavy cream or processing it in the mixer or food processor, the, you're agitating the membranes surrounding the fats. And so therefore, the fats uh, get separated from the buttermilk so and that and then eventually the clumps of fat they get bigger and bigger so that's how it kind of works so let me show you what we're going to do I have a heavy cream in there already and i didn't record push the record button earlier so I start processing it but that's okay we're not done you can see the splatter all over there make sure you cover the top because there is a little <laughs> hole for pouring liquids into your the food processors ready <laughs> But you can see that's the fat. See that? And the lookers are just kind of splattering all over the place, but we're going to get better soon. There's the buttermilk, and there's your butter. So you can take the buttermilk <laughs> and use it for your pancakes. Then you have fresh whipped butter. And you can add honey to it or salt if you want mm. to, but it's a little, it's kind of sweet anyway. So we're going to. I love honey. Let's see. Scoop this out. So now I said earlier, if you have a cheesecloth, it would be very helpful <laughs> to strain Milk. the butter. Milk. Yeah. Milk. <laughs> so the buttermilk will slowly strain. I'm afraid if that spoiled again like the last time. Oh yeah, last time it exploded. Yeah, it ripped the paper towel and exploded on me. <laughs> I'm gonna get away in case it. Yeah, you'll be fine. Okay. And check this out, guys. Look at this. Can I taste? Sure, you can. Go ahead. Oh no, use your finger. Don't <laughs> eat it with your mouth. Okay. Okay, let's show them our butter. So look at that yummy butter. Fresh whip whipped butter. And Nikki's drinking the buttermilk. But you can use the buttermilk for your pancakes or biscuits. You have your butter. Was, or you can add some honey to it. That was the best meal oh, ever. Awesome. Good job. Not to mention earlier that you want to let your heavy cream or heavy whipping cream sit at room temperature for at least 20 to 30 minutes. That way when you're whip the butter or turn it, buttermilk will separate easily so it won't be too cold and salt, stay solid together. Thanks for your help, Nikki. You're welcome. I hope that you guys enjoy this DIY that you can do at home. Very easy and it's actually kind of fun. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and please stay tuned. We'll be back out in the garden again soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.